John here guys and today we're talking about the Radio Master TX12 V2 entry level budget radio by Radio Master and they have added a lot of interesting features including Express LRS built in as well as Edge TX and for a couple of bucks more you can actually get this new Radio Master strap so that you can wear the radio around your neck and be like the FPV flame 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 flame. Flame. now which one of these two entry level radios is going to be the best for you now there are a lot of features that make the Zorro the best for some people and some of the features that make the TX12 best for them we go through all of them to answer it at the end so which one are you are you a full module bay kind of guy with 18650s or do you like that gamer style feel either one of these though you can upgrade for a hundred dollars more and get the ag01 mini metal gimbals and put it in here radio masters newest entry level radio a version two of their very popular radio now what would make you choose this over their other popular budget option the zorro this comes in at about 110 dollars this comes in at about 120 dollars and there is pros and cons of each the biggest difference that you're going to find is that this uses actual 18650 cells and it uses two of them so you're going to have longer battery life on this thing this also has a full size module bay so you could use a full size ghost module crossfire express lrs or whatever other choice that you would want it is more laid out like a traditional radio but it's just smaller now this one has express lrs built in you have plenty of room for a lipo battery so you could run even one of those 3000 milliamp hour batteries and it would run for almost forever the sd card slot is in this little door now the other cool thing about both of these radios is they actually use the same gimbal so you see on the zora i have installed the ag01 minis the upgraded metal gimbal and if I wanted I can install those you can see that your hand grip and the distance from the gimbal is slightly farther apart on the Zorro which I actually like that a little better this you could actually pinch on or you can thumb a really nice grip right here it's a little bit hard to pinch on the Zorro like it is doable but it's kind of awkward as like where you place your fingers up here if you thumb either one of these is fine I think I find like this is the most ergonomic radio on the market the Zorro the gamer pad style feel just like fits into your palm like so perfectly but you do get a lot of other features here this would be my arm switch you can see middle finger can rest right up here for a quick disarm so easily it has the traditional four button control layout the same way that we've had since the early days with the Tyrannus and now the newer TX16S. This is their flagship model, the TX16S V2. This comes in at about $200, well this is 109 so this takes up a lot more room in your bag and if you wanted to just get started you could use this i personally like a little bit more space on my gimbals but this has like such a nice grip you see how your fingers just kind of naturally go right here so if you wanted something that was inexpensive to start up with you can decide which style meets your needs the most if you were gonna have something like ghost on here on the Zorro it would be a little bit more awkward because it would fit even farther on the back making it less easy to pack I do like that the Zorro has this pop-out antenna that folds away for really quick bag storage whereas this one has an antenna that you have to screw on and off if you were to put it in a bag you probably would want to take this off radio master is also coming out with this this new strap combo this is like a nice leather feel right here that has uh, radio master embossed on there and there is a cloth surround so if you don't want this leather resting on your skin it's kind of cool how this works it's just like a little velcro sleeve like if you ever used to run those on a seat belt in your honda civic si back in the day it's very similar you just kind of fit it over like that and then boom it goes around your neck flame, 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 flame. now since radio master is coming out with these express lrs radios left and right they also have a new suite of receivers this is their rp1 which is similar to the ep1 that we've all seen and i really like this 2.4 antenna as a lot more sturdy look to it than the ones that we've seen in the past they also have one right here which is their rp2 which is basically the same as the ep2 it has a little ceramic antenna right there they also have some other little accessories like these little gimbal switch covers and they're actually labeled you can see this is a little arm switch cover right here there's turtle mode idle a lot of times one thing that i like to have is a beeper 
switch labeled and so you would just fit that on here like this uh, sometimes if you're out looking for your quad and you forgot to bring your radio with you you can just tell someone hey hit my beeper switch this way they can easily see which one it is oh my quads it's over here somewhere hey Vaughn can you hit my beeper switch for me I forgot my radio over there Where? Switch. this one works what about this 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 no let me try all other radio this works no what about this this he let me see your radio Buzzer, buzzer, no, buzzer, no. Back to your radio. <laughs> oh, there it is. Back to your radio, does it work? No. Oh. It worked. Oh, shit. So they're made for the tall switches. If I was going to use this as my arm switch that's labeled right here, all I would do is just trim this a little bit and it would fit perfectly on there. These also come in other colors, I believe black and red as well. You can get a couple of sets and mix and match if you wanted a different color. I've been using this 3D printed version right here, but it just doesn't look as nice. So I think I'm actually gonna switch over to these. I also have a buzzer right here. You can see it does look a, a bit nicer. So which one are you gonna go with, the Zorro? or the TX-12? Or are you gonna go all the way up to get that TX-16S, the flagship model? Maybe you'll even be getting the Min Chan Kim model that's $549, but it has a very cool metallic faceplate with color changing paint. We're gonna have the links for all of these below. So please click and buy one of everything featured in here uh, through my uh, links at the bottom. That really helps the channel so I can make this content for you. If you appreciate videos that are actually made on location instead of just sitting in front of your house using a cell phone like some of those other channels then consider doing any of those options you could also join the patreon if the mood should strike you that helps get me to events like the one in costa rica that helped me make that min chan kim short film got more short films coming there is one completed already at the mayhem team race and we're going to be having one coming out for international open thanks guys